Now let's talk about snapping. When we move an object, if you look closely, you'll see these little red lines that appear, and that is the object trying to snap or hook to certain points. In this case, there's no other objects on the artboard, so the object is trying to snap to the center of the artboard. So you can see as we align the edge, it'll snap, or the corners, it'll snap to the middle, um, or the uh, middle of the edge, like so. Now, once we add multiple objects to the artboard, now we're gonna try and snap to different parts of the other object. So you can see that when we have the objects perfectly aligned, it snaps uh, almost like a magnet to the other one. Um, we can do that vertically as well. We can align the corners, and when we get close enough, that'll actually snap together. Uh, again, so it's like a little uh, magnet. While snapping can be very helpful, sometimes it's going to get in the way of what we're trying to do. So if you go up to the view options menu, you'll see this little snapping uh, option here. If we click on that, it will actually disable the snapping. And so now when we go back and move this, we're moving our object freely on the stage and it's not trying to snap to anything. Okay, let me show you another way that you can toggle snapping on and off. So let's turn snapping back on. And when we grab the object, um, it's, you know, snapping again, but if I hold command on Mac or control on Windows, it will actually deactivate snapping until I'm ready to use it again. And then in that case, I can release that key and we're back to snapping.